we saw like a crowd and a bit of a couple full and we just sprinted right into it and there's a lot of people around it uh, around the railing there's like um i would say like barrier. concrete barrier mm. so we just went straight into it and my brother as crazy as he is he just jumped on the guy as well he was already re uh, restraining him and he, he just pinned him down he's a big bloke and he pinned him down safely and then i just uh inspected the area so i looked at the the knife and that was you know covered in blood on the side and i looked to see whether he had any explosives you know just things that you well, would do course. naturally you're like yeah. what is the situation has he got any counterparts looking well, around that, that'd be the other thing right luke you'd be thinking is this guy on his own well well this was it and and um the, the guys was on top of him and then i stood back and i was looking around and i saw the knife and he also had a satchel on as well so we were unsure what was in that and we really didn't know what was in that until the police came um, you know, because we couldn't, we couldn't search him. We couldn't do anything. We didn't know what he had, he had down his trousers. And then when the police came, I, I, that's where I assisted as well with the, the help of uh, one of the one of the guys who's um, I think he's a tattoo artist. That, like I said, the the real guys that are on on the scene. And that's where he wouldn't free his right his right arm. So we thought we don't know what he's going to do. Is he going to press something? Is he going to bring something out and uh, and then that's when I, I grabbed the back of his neck and, and rammed it into into the ground so 